Welcome back, it's Anthony, of course. Welcome back to my channel, thank you again for coming. So, today's video is five questions with Anthony. So, let's get it started, shall we? So, I asked you guys to ask me questions on Twitter and Instagram. My links are in the bio. Question number one is from Jamie. At Jamie32 says, how did you get into dance? Well, this story's a bit basic and, you know, the same as everyone else. I just like to boogie and got into dance. But I've got a funny story to tell you about dance. So, as you all know, I do classes at Pineapple twice a week in London. And um, it was my Thursday class. It was my heels class. You know, the bigger the better with the heels and everything else. And... Um, yeah, so it's my heels class went down on the Thursday. We got in, we signed in. There's about 15 to 20 of us. It's all in the middle of the room. And Sarah said, our coach, she said, can, can we all come into the middle and all gather around in a circle? So, oh, that's one weird then. <laughs> gather around in a circle. So, um, we all gather around and she, she said, I've got to get a special guest. She walked out of the room, came back with Louis fucking Spence. I kid you not, Louis fucking Spence came in the room. We fucking shat ourselves. I was nearly fainting. I was like, Jesus Christ, girl. I nearly lost it. I was so bloody hot. I nearly lost it. Seriously, everyone was freaking the fuck out. We was like, oh, Louis. We went up to him, gave him a hug, gave him a kiss. I wanted to give him more, but obviously I couldn't with everyone there. And um, he's gorgeous. He's really bloody stunning, he is. And um, yeah, and then he, he watched us do our heels class. And I slayed, bitch. I was sassy as fuck. And, um, yeah, then he gave us some feedback and, and he left. But I've got a picture. It's in my Instagram, which is in the bio, as I've said. Um, so, yeah, that, that was a crazy story. But, um, yeah, probably won't happen again. Question number two is from Fanboy Brad. Thanks for being a fan, Brad. So, Fanboy Brad says, favourite clothing brands? Well, obviously, it's mine, bitch. <laughs> nah, joking. But um, you guys might not know. I've got a fashion brand. Well, I'm trying to create a fashion brand. So I'm struggling with the names. There's a poll on my Twitter. Um, there's HH Clothing or there's Select Fashion. There's two. I prefer Select Fashion, but um, you see and you decide. Don't let me influence you. Oh, got a text from a sugar daddy, Paul. Um, so, yeah, have a, have a vote on my Twitter. Um, but seriously, so it's probably Zara. Um, cheap, cheerful. We've got Prada. And Prada shoes, actually. Prada shoes are amazing. And probably Louis Vuitton for the purses. Louis Vuitton purses are fucking flames, girl. I'm telling you, if you ain't got one, get yourself one. Treat yourself. So, yeah. So, let's move on to question number three. Question number three is from Yaz O'Dear. And Yaz O'Dear says, what's on your bucket list? So, on my bucket list, um, anything to do with dance, really. And don't need that. Anything to do with dance, really. So, um, I'd love to be a dancer on maybe like a cruise ship or in the West End, something like that. Um, yeah, so anything to do with dance. I just want to achieve my goals in dance, really. Um, there's another thing, and I don't really know if it counts as bucket list. It's more of like a want. Um, I don't know if I, I've told you guys about my insecurities and my sort of um, the stuff I'm not happy about it with myself um i'll probably make a whole nother video on this but let me show you so it's my lips let me show you darlings i don't know if you guys can see clearly but it's my lips so basically i, do, I just don't think they're big enough um oh, move that away i just don't think they're big enough and um it gets me down but I don't, i'm gonna blabber on but i'll talk about this in a whole nother video in a, in, a, in a couple of weeks time probably but Moving on swiftly. So, question number four is from Liam Hunter 4. It's Liam, you can be my hunty, <laughs> darling. And um, so, yeah, Liam says, can you recommend any detox or cleanse foods you have tried? Of course I can, Liam. Darling, glad you asked. So, every day I drink this. It's cucumber water. Cucumber is the flat tummy food, girl. I am telling you, cucumber is amazing. It works a treat, seriously. So yeah, cucumber's amazing. It flat tummy within, I don't know, two to three weeks, dull. It works a treat, seriously. Um, also, there's this smoothie that I love. 
obviously green tea, that goes without saying, but there's this smoothie that I love, it's called, oh, it's, it's apple and kale. This apple and kale smoothie is amazing, seriously, and it tastes, it tastes so good. It gets everything out from the night before, everything, and yeah, you just feel amazing about yourself after. So yeah, make one of them. Let's move on to question number five. Question number five is from Josie. 2920. So, hi Josie, if you're watching. Josie says, Can. Oh. Josie's made a spelling mistake. Josie says, What would an ideal night out be? Um, an ideal night out would be. So, hopefully, Paul's watching. Hi, Paul, darling. Paul's my sugar daddy. So, Paul, if you're watching. Hey, baby. So, yeah, an ideal night out would be with Paul. Like last Saturday, really. So, me and Paul, we came to mine. No one was in, mum was out. So, we had pre drinks and pre drugs at mine. <laughs> Probably shouldn't say that on here, you know. <laughs> and um, yeah, we had a great night. We went to a club. It was CLA. It's about 15 minutes on the train that way. Um, that was fab. That's an ideal night out would be with Paul, just, just to be with Paul. I just love him. So, yeah, last Saturday was my ideal night out. And that concludes, that's question number five and we are all done darlings. So I hope you liked the video, if you did, like, even if you didn't, still like bitches. Like, comment, subscribe and share this video with all your friends and family. And um, yeah, and I'll be back next week for, what's next week? Oh, next week is a makeup tutorial, so you don't want to miss that one, that's a banger hunty. So don't miss that one, alright? Girls, boys. Sugar daddies, I love you so much, hunties. Stay golden and stay clean. Love you, bye.